My father came to Australia from Sicily, Italy, in 1952. He married my mother by proxy in 1955, and she arrived not long after. Even though I was born in Australia in the late 50s, being in a family only speaking Italian, it was difficult for me to understand English when I started school. After my first few days of school, my parents were asked to come to school and to speak to the teacher. Because mum didn't speak any words of English, dad came. He was asked why his daughter did not speak English. Being the only child from a non-English speaking family made me feel different and isolated from the other children at school. However, as time went on, I picked up the language and completed my school years. Dad's parents arrived in Australia in 1963 and lived with us for a little while. In the same year, Dad brought our first TV, so I had windows into two different worlds. Around the age of 10 years, I was asked to go with my grandmother to the doctor to translate. To me, it was boring sitting and waiting at the doctor's rooms. I was often asked to go with family members to see doctors and specialists, as I was the eldest and understood best. Sometimes I wonder if I said the proper thing in relation to their illness, or was it like a game of Chinese whispers? I was a child go-between in an adult world. As my school years came to an end, in the country there were not many opportunities to continue studies. I worked in the local supermarket for a while. In 1976, I met Dominic Siciliano and in June 1977, we were married. I came to Cobram and worked with my husband. We have four children, three sons and one daughter. Our children grew up and completed their school studies locally. Our sons have stayed and worked on the family orchard. Our daughter said she would like to go to university. Her father said he would think about that. I said that my daughter was getting the opportunity I did not have and if she had the scores to enter university, I would be happy for her to go. I thank God she was admitted to university and that her dad agreed.